Hi, I'm uh, Raymond Maloney, um, Senior Project Manager here at Coptal Tunnel. We've had a very good 2023. We've completed the cut, which is the 560,000 metres cube of earthworks we needed to remove in order to finish the central section and eastern portal of the tunnel. We've completed the western portal. We've poured over 35,000 cubic concrete in the last year. We've reopened the new realigned Harville Road and we've completed over 60% of the scope inside in the main central section of the tunnel. Coptal Tunnel is the final piece of uh, tunnelling before we hit the Coyne Valley Viaduct, which is to the west of me in the background here, just behind one of our first vent stacks, which are being completed. High speed trains are going at 200 miles an hour, and with that force brings a lot of pressure in front of the train. There's five of these vent stacks in, in Coptal Tunnel. The design is basically that as they come through these intervals of 100 metres, the pressure in front of the train whooshes up through the vent stack and is released into the atmosphere. Since its inception in 2022, our rebar yard continues to support our delivery through 2023. It's helped us lift our productivity in steel fixing by over 100% and it continues to keep us on time for the end of this project. Throughout 2023, it's taken over 1.3 million person hours in order to complete this scope. And one thing I'm proud of here at Coptal is that we've delivered all this work without a lost time incident, and we plan to continue to deliver this work through the remainder of 2024 and 2025 with our people at heart. The Southern Treatment Area is treating all of the TBM arisings that are coming from the drive between West Ricelip and Green Parkway. At that point they're treated and sent over to our site here at Coptal over a mobile conveyor and at that point the team then began to basically backfill over the tunnel and we dropped the tunnel back into the landscape and it's covered over into its final kind of orientation. A key component inside in all of this strategy was the Northern Sustainable Placement Area, which is to the north of me, and the Southern Sustainable Placement Area, which is to the south. Here we are on the Northern Sustainable Placement Area. This is uh, a critical part of the project for the Coptal Tunnel, because we take the majority of the arisings excavated from the Green Tunnel. They're placed here into four distinct mounds and then we put topsoil and subsoil onto them and they become permanent landforms ready to be transformed into a rich biodiverse environment. That's quite different to the southern sustainable placement area where we're dealing with the material coming off of the back of the TBMs. So these are our tunnel boring machines creating the Norfolk tunnels. That material comes through and the way it, it's, it's mined and the way it travels along the conveyor belt, um, it has quite a high moisture content. It's around 40%. That goes into a treatment facility that we've constructed and this adds lime. And this lime really, it takes uh, an inconsistent material that we can't handle and place and it turns it into a real consistent um, quality product that we can use for engineering. We can take that clay and that dried out material, we can then use it to go back onto the cut and cover tunnel and we can use it in the southern sustainable placement area to form the three land forms which then at the end of the project should go back to arable land um, and farming. The southern sustainable placement area takes over 500,000 metres cube of TBM horizons. The vast majority of that has already been placed. We've got 70,000 metres cube remaining and that is due to finish middle of the summer this year. So over the last couple of years on the Northern Sustainable Placement Area, um, we placed the, the vast majority of the material. It's uh, circa 647,000, and we've got 5,000 left of that material uh, remaining to place, which we'll plan to do this summer. We've got the, uh, the first sample area, which has been planted just behind me over my shoulder. It's circa 1,300 individual plants, trees to be, to be placed. And what we want to do with that is make sure we've got the, the methodology correct before we move in the next planting season, which comes this autumn, when we move on to the remaining 69,000 individual plants to be placed all the way around the Northern Sustainable Placement Area. 
which will uh, create a real rich biodiverse environment for, for years to come. Key milestones for us in 2024 are completion of the central section of the tunnel. We will commence piling in the eastern portal and we will complete all base slabs in the tunnel and we plan to have four of these vent stacks complete by the end of 24. We will have the cut and cover section of Coptal Tunnel complete which allows us to install all the artworks which you can see going on in the background and completion of the backfill over this tunnel with the TBM risings.